Good morning, everyone. My name is Mohamed Sukhan Nalzik, and I'll talk about some uh, benefits of space exploration today. Well, it's always been a very controversial issue because people always question uh, whether it's really necessary or not, uh, because we spend a lot of money on space exploration. Well, NASA announces its budget every year, and uh, it was over $18 billion uh, last year, so it's a lot of money, actually. So, is it really necessary? Well, in my presentation, I'll talk about uh, why it is necessary and why we uh, need space exploration. Uh, so, let's take a look at my outline at first. Uh, I'll talk about two benefits of space exploration uh, in my presentation. The first one is uh, the technology uh, that is developed with the help of uh, space exploration. And secondly, uh, I'll talk about long-term survival. Uh, let's start with the first one. Uh, well, when we say technology and space exploration, we can easily think of satellites and spacecrafts and these cool rockets that can land down uh, vertically after they are used. Uh, but interestingly, we use many things in our daily life uh, that is related uh, with uh, space exploration. And uh, let's see some examples. The first one is a uh, portable cordless vacuum, uh, and the other one is invisible braces, and the third one is smoke detectors. Well, although they don't seem they have uh, anything in common with uh, space explorations, but uh, they are either developed or invented with the help of uh, space explorations, actually. Uh, NASA announces um, a list every year, uh, a list of commercial products and services, uh, which are called spin-off technologies. Uh, they are either developed or invented with the help of space explorations. So I want to give some examples uh, from spin-off uh, 2017. Uh, let's see the examples. Uh, well, they were digitalizing dental imagery uh, with the help of some sensors, and it was uh, developed with the help of space explorations, actually. Uh, and let's see the other example. Uh, they were producing fabrics that keep babies comfortable uh, by regulating the temperature inside. Uh, and there's a story behind it. Uh, in Johnson's Space Center, they were trying to manage the heat in the spacesuits of astronauts. And as a result of this effort, they could uh, manufacture some fabrics that keep babies comfortable. Let's see the other example. Uh, thanks to uh, developed GPS technologies, we now have uh, tractors that can drive themselves. Well, we are familiar with the driverless cars, but uh, now we have driverless tractors, interestingly. Now, let me proceed with the second part of my presentation, that is like uh, long-term survival. But what do I actually mean by long-term survival? Is it like uh, extending the lifespan span of humans? No, it's actually uh, extending the lifespan of entire humanity, uh, which is protecting humans from extinction, like the extinction of dinosaurs. Uh, according to NASA, on an average of every several hundred thousand years, uh, an asteroid uh, larger than one kilometer uh, could cause global disasters. Well, this might seem a little unlikely, but there are, the, there are a lot of other dangers that might uh, come from outer space, and space exploration is probably the only way to uh, avoid such disasters. And let's see another problem, that is the population. Uh, the Earth is already very crowded, and it's uh, getting more and more, more crowded every day. Uh, and our planet has a capacity, so this will be a big problem one day. So let's take a look at this graph, which I brought from uh, world population history. We can easily see the uh, dramatic increase uh, in, pop in population uh, in the last 80 years. So it will be a very big problem one day, uh, in the near future actually. So what's the solution? Probably the only solution is finding, uh, finding a new home uh, to move there, and this is only possible with the help of some space exploration and some space research. So that's the end of my presentation basically. I talked about uh, the technology developments thanks to space exploration and uh, our long-term survival. Uh, so as a conclusion, I understand uh, that it's really necessary and it's really beneficial uh, considering the importance of developing new technologies, considering uh, the problems we, may, we might face in the future, in the near future. So if you can determine the correct amount of time that should be dedicated to uh, space exploration, the correct amount of money that should be dedicated, it will be really beneficial. Uh, so this is my reference list and this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer.